Alright, so this will be a quick video, but I found something really interesting um, inside of Roblox Studio, movement of parts, right? So let me show you what I mean real quick. So I have a part in the game. If I play the game right now, what's going to happen is that our player is going to spawn in to the actual world, right? Now, here's a quick distinction that you need to make. Right now, we're on the client, meaning that we're experiencing the game as this player, right? So I'm experiencing the game as my player, as opposed to just seeing the game for what it actually is, right? That's the main difference. So client is your perspective and then the server is like the actual truth of what's happening in the game now for this thing that i want to show you something you need to have in mind is that every single part has something called a network owner but a network owner is effectively like what owns the part so by default the network owner is the actual server right meaning that whenever a change happens to the parts movement it can only happen on the server okay because if a player moves the part so right now look i'm the player right if i move the part to here and i go to the server then as you can see right now, the position actually updated, right? So whenever I move it on the client over here, as you can see, it actually does update, right? And the reason it does that is because if I go to the server, because you can only type this command on the server for some reason. And if I say print, okay, workspace dot part, so we'll get the part and then we'll say get network owner. So we're going to print the network owner, which is me right now, right? So right now I am the network owner, meaning that whenever a change happens to the part from me, then that change will be replicated to the server. And now I believe this only happens to movement. So like, if I change the color of the part, for example, that's not going to be replicated to the server, right? Only the movement, right? As you can see here. However, however, if right now I say workspace.parts, you know, I get the part like so, but then I set the network owner to be equal to nil, right? So when you set it to be equal to nil or, you know, no players, then it automatically will set it equal to the server, right? So like, so there we go. And so now what happens is that if I take this and I try moving, moving it here, it's not going to replicate, okay? So right now, this part being here is only true for me, not for any anyone else, right? Not for the server, not for all the other players, just true for me. However, 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 if I go on the server again, and then I set it, you know, back to me, so game.players.theoriginal the original lamp, it's gonna update the position. There we go, right? So now it actually is like, oh, oh you know, the uh, this player sees the part as over here, and he is the network owner of this part, so let's actually update, right? And now this happens with literally every single part, right? For, if I delete the part, for example, yeah, so it doesn't actually get deleted from the server, so that actually proves my theory that this is just mainly for movement right and this had this can happen with any part spawn location right i can yeah spawn location set network owner the original lamp, okay and it gave me an error because you can only call this from the server can it be called on anchored parts okay i don't it updates and then if i put it back to nil it will no longer update okay so that's something quite interesting that i found you know with network ownership so if you're a roblox player there might be a ton of games that you've played where you have actually owned a part right which i don't know if that means much to you but you know i would consider that an amazing accomplishment and yeah, so let's go through the, you know, the regular check out my course in the description, you know, subscribe, notifications, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.